This Sunday's second reading is one of my favourite pieces of scripture. It's from St Paul's letter to the Philippians and it speaks of a central truth about our faith in who Jesus is and how much God loves us. The phrase, his state was divine, yet he did not cling to his equality with God, but emptied himself to assume the condition of a slave and became as men are. He emptied himself. That's what Jesus did. He's divine, he's God. But the central message that we hear at Christmas and throughout our whole Christian life is that Jesus, that God was so humble that he emptied himself, became one of us, bound himself in human form, entered the messiness of our world. And that's particularly pertinent to this weekend as Pope Francis has asked us to remember this Sunday as uh, a special day to remember migrants and refugees in our prayers because Jesus, we just heard, he emptied himself, bound himself in human form to the extent that he too, if you remember well, became a refugee. He spent his early years in Egypt as Joseph and Mary had to escape the authorities, the threat at the time, and so they became a refugee family. Jesus himself identifies with the marginalised because, especially because he too experienced being on the margins too. Jesus was a refugee. He suffers with us. He enters the messiness of our world. That's how we know God loves us so much. And it's really especially relevant to our parish as well. A bit of plugging, a bit of praise too for the people here at St. Catherine's because before I arrived, there was this wonderful project where they have taken on the support of a refugee family from Syria. And two or three years later, it's, it's worked wonders. It's been an amazing thing for the parish to support these people as part of the community and to show true love, to show God, to share God's love, the love that we have experienced. That's what we're called to do as followers of Christ. But to get back to the root of it, it's not just because we're meant to be nice to each other, we're meant to be kind, of course. That's the fruit of being a follower of Christ. But we particularly follow Christ because of those words, that central truth in our faith, which makes us see Jesus in the marginalised, Jesus in everyone. Those words, his state was divine, yet he did not cling to his equality with God, but emptied himself to assume the condition of a slave and became as men are. And being as all men are, he was humbler yet, even to accepting death, death on a cross. But it doesn't end there. But God raised him high and gave him the name which is above all other names, so that all beings in the heavens, on earth and in the underworld should bend the knee at the name of Jesus, and that every tongue should acclaim Jesus Christ as Lord to the glory of God the Father. We proclaim Christ as Lord by looking after each other and loving each other, sharing that love that God has for us.